Scientific notation is pretty handy. It's a way of being able to write really large or really small numbers in an easy format. When all of these zeros just kind of get in the way, let's condense it down and simplify it, but not change the value. So the rule with scientific notation is you need a number with a one digit whole number and whatever decimal value falls after that, okay? So if I needed this as a whole number, I would have two as a whole number with six, eight, nine falling behind it. So 2.689. Then this gets multiplied by 10 to some exponential power. And the exponent we use is identifying how many decimal places we moved. So if my decimal started back here and I moved forward, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven places to get that two as a one digit whole number, it means I have the seventh power on my 10. So 2.689 times 10 to the seventh is equivalent to this, but this just lets me write it in a shorter form, fewer zeros. Now here, again, I need a one digit whole number. That's the rule of scientific notation. It has to follow in between zero and 10. So I need a four point something. So I go 4.01. Now to get that 4 as a whole number, how many decimal places did I move forward? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 decimal places. So if I have 4.01 times 10 to the 9th, it is equivalent to 4 billion 10 million. Here, now I have a very small number, and instead of moving the decimal forward, I need to move it backward, okay? So I'm taking less than a whole and turning it into a whole number. Again, I need to move as far as it leaves me one whole number in front of the decimal. So if I go one, two, three, four. Now, if I move the decimal there, I have a three in front of the decimal, 3.74. Now, how many places did I move back? I went one, two, three, four places. So I have 10. Now, the thing we do is 10 to the negative four. A negative on an exponent means it's less than a whole number, okay? So by saying that, we know that this isn't a positive, or it's not a three, uh, it's not gonna convert into something like millions or thousands or, or whatever. It is less than a whole number, okay? Here, same thing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I moved back eight places to make less than a whole a whole number. So I have 5.21 times 10 to the negative eight. And that starts us off with converting a large or the full number, the original number into scientific notation. Now you might have been wondering, well, why in the heck does a negative on the exponent make it less than a whole? So let's look at some rules with exponents. So if I have three squared, that means three times three, which evaluates to nine. If I have three to the first power, it means I just have a three once, which simplifies to three. Now I have zero as the exponent. What that means is the three divided by itself. What's any number divided by itself? It's a one. So whenever you see the exponent of zero, you use a one, it simplifies to one. Or if you need a one, you put an exponent of zero on the number. If I have three to the negative one, that what that is saying to clear the negative off the exponent, we flip the number. So instead of being three to the negative first power, it becomes one over three to the first power, which is just one third. Again, uh, we have a negative, and the math gods don't like negatives on the exponent. So to get the negative off of it, we flip it. It becomes the reciprocal, one and three to the second power, which is one ninth. So that's why when you're dealing with decimals and turning them into scientific notation or values that are less than a whole and dealing with scientific notation, we put a negative on the exponent to show it's its reciprocal of that, that it's less than a whole value. With these values, we want to rewrite them in scientific notation or evaluate what the scientific notation actually represents. 
So if I took this and I'm supposed to write it in scientific notation, it already meets the requirement of having a one digit whole number. So there's really nothing more I can do to this, but it wants it in scientific notation, which means I need to multiply it by 10 to some power. Well, if I want to keep this the same value, the only way I can multiply by something and keep that number is to multiply it by one. What exponential value lets me have a one? It's an exponent of zero. So 9.04 times 10 to the zero power is going to let me go ahead and keep my nine and four hundredths, but still write it in scientific notation. Here, I need to, in order to put this in scientific notation, I need a one digit whole number instead of a three digit whole number. So I need to move to the left two places to give myself six 0.4353. And when I move my decimal to the left, it means it's a positive exponential value. I moved it two places, so it's going to be 10 to the second. Here, I need to write this in exponential value. They wrote it incorrectly. I do not have a one digit whole number, and it says I have 10 to the 10th. Well, what they did was they went too far. They moved the decimal too many places. So I need to move it back. One, two, three places. Whenever I move the decimal to the left, it's a negative exponential value. So that means if I had 10, I gotta take three of those away to leave me with 2.94 times 10 to the seventh, okay? Now here, I have this scientific notation and it wants me to convert it back to what the actual number is. So what I start with is eight, five, three, six, and I needed apparently to have moved seven decimal places. I need to make this a whole number because I have a positive value there. So I'm gonna go back seven places so that I can have a whole number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll fill in those empty spaces with zeros and every third place I'm gonna have a comma so one and one. And actually in your homework, it doesn't even need a comma. You just type in those digits. Here, I have a negative exponential value. So I know that this four is less than a whole number. If I, so if I start off with four, zero, six, and if my decimal is here, I need to move it to the left four places. So one, two, three, four is gonna end it here. And I need a one, two, three, zeros for placeholders. So 0 .00, 0 000 406 is my answer. So this is how we work with scientific notation, convert it to notation format, and then convert it back to its actual value.